60 years old I was born in Grozny but I'm local now because 20 years already in Dublin I, I love Ireland I'm Irish <laughs> so uh, but I was born in Grozny in Soviet Union my father was military pilot not a musician uh, alcoholics today I could say to tell honestly alcoholics mm -hmm. Only one enjoyment in the life was al alcoholism. Never was kidnapped. Never was. Uh, uh, never had troubles with my parents. Never uh, love them. Have only good memories. But I remember they had enjoyment only in alcohol. It was a, a, a government program. Alcohol. It was drug for which they could rule nation. So um, I didn't hear at that time about any other drugs, alcohol and cigarettes. Um, and growing, I was programmed by Soviet system. I was communist, mm -hmm. atheist. Was programmed both by communist system like soldier. I means for war. Sooner or later, I will go. Will have to go to to, to fight. And uh, in an army, everyone had to go to army. I went to army. I got very good education. System quite good. I could, couldn't complain about about Soviet system. Exist some pluses, some some disadvantages. But what I can tell in Soviet system, uh, in army, when they call me, I was eighteen. From eighteen, you already have to go out. To army. So they call me at 18, uh, two years you have to spend in army. Uh, in army I met very interesting guys. I met guys which introduced me in the beginning smoke and later... It's like weed and so Yeah, yeah. Yes. Weed, uh, I did like. I really catch all advantages. First, no aggression, you controlling all your, all your behavior. I'm a musician. Yes. I never lost my coordination. I still play. You know, you, I, I, oh, all advantage. In this, in second question was, ah, you hiding government hiding from us other drugs. They want that we will be stupid. We were stupid, mm -hmm. drunk people, slaves. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, my second question: Exist other drugs? And guys introduced me opium, and after that I started on heroin. And I, from army I came already a drug addict. How old were you now at this stage? Uh, 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 Nineteen years already I was with drugs. With the heroin? Yeah. Okay. It was in the beginning, in army it was opium. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they prepare specialists for planes, you know, black boxes. Mm -hmm. All information of your flight and what maneuvers when you did where you used to fly in that black box. The, my speciality was to decipher it. So what the information in this black box. So we, after everyone flight, we could take this box and go to special. So to what pilots did, you right. know, it's now we have like cameras, you know, uh, but everyone maneuver. So know. let me get this right. Your job in the army was to decode the flight yeah. information yeah, yeah. from the Russian pilots. Yeah, yeah, in okay. mix, on mix. Yeah. And you were already actively using while you were doing this job. It was it was time of Afghanian war. Praise God, that they didn't send me to to the war. No, no. Which war was this? Af Afghanistan. Oh, the Afghanistan war. Yeah, yes, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of guys die in that place, and I told hey, guys introduced me and weed and after opium. I did love it. Yeah. I love that so many problems sorted and, and you're not so, uh, socially dangerous. <laughs> you yeah. you're always under control on the drug. But I came already drag completely in drugs. I knew I will never drink. I will use heroin and smoke weed. I knew and use tranquilizers, which makes me more calm. You know, yes. that's my was program. And I had got everything what I need. Peacefully, I with your girlfriend and everything what you want. You want festival, you go, you want blah, blah, blah. But some emptiness mm -hmm. still. And one time, I thank God, one guy came. We made injection as well. Join. Uh, like 
Богдан Мюнхесет, це вони, you know, I heard what, our planet, kingdom of Dell. Well, he said all things. I'm atheist, communist, you can imagine. But this message, what he said, our planet, kingdom of devil, I said, who tell you? And he said, one bluesman, he was famous. At that time, I was in Lithuania, in Vilnius. And I called this bluesman. Bluesman said, come to me next time, next day. We will talk. And I came next day, and I said, look, I, I, I agree that Satan ruling in that planet Earth. <coughs> and he said, yeah, and all people are slaves of Satan. Exist only one alternative, he said. If you belong to God, God is gentleman, he will never push himself in, but anytime if you want to meet him, he is open. And I said, okay, so I can't be free without Satan and without God doesn't exist neutral position but I agree that I'm in say a Satan slave because I am full of evil angry uh, unpredictable very dangerous very uh, so selfish and full of expectation of punishment for my evilness okay. who I am even being completely communist I felt this Maybe in the in the court they doesn't have those, but some way this information exists. I feel it, and so this bluesman said me, "How I said how to become fellowship to to get fellowship with God." He said, "You know, you are a sinner, really, but God already provide everything. He sent Jesus Christ, which died." For your sins even you wasn't be born he died for your sins and he, but you should believe he resurrect i said i never was believe i am from communist family i am i don't respect this orthodox catholics all that i don't like it all those religions muslims buddhists i don't like i'm a communist you know but i said if satan ruling I don't give a rip about those. I think about only me. Now I need, I need. Okay, I don't, and I said, God, if you exist, I, do, I receive Jesus Christ, that he, I, I, I confess that he die for my sins and resurrect, and I make Jesus my Lord, that Satan would be my Lord. My Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what's happened? This moment, I, I, I didn't even, even understood immediately one hippie comes, as well, one musician, you know, from Moscow came to Vilnius. Yes. And immediately started some religious speech, you know, but uh, in uh, conversation, and I feel something happened inside of me. What's happened after that prayer? Fear disappeared, expectation of punishment, joy appear love freedom mm -hmm. completely you look i went outside it was uh, uh, spring you know snow pieces of snow and grass uh, 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 you know yeah. and i never pay attention i just took just stop with my girlfriend and i just stop and look at that grass i never pay attention what? this piece of of snow grass life beautiful and i feel free free mm -hmm. you know but uh, i came and i i didn't make target to stop using drugs suddenly i just don't want few times i make injections didn't want to have cold turkey mm -hmm. that's why i made few times injections sure you know but desire this empty thing disappear wow. i became jo and suddenly i don't need it anymore it, it's more it wasn't my effort yes i understand i did make oh no let's do it yeah, keep yeah, going it was not willpower no for me just yeah. suddenly with this freedom joy which came into my spirit yes came in freedom i just i make injection uh, after that not 
uh, I have no to go cold turkey, but usually I had about three injections per day. Mm -hmm. I, I did like this, you know. Sure. And uh, but I making this for my pleasure, you know. Yeah. Uh, injection. I don't need it. Yeah, it naturally, it's It's in my spirit. Said, it's not your nature. You already have everything. I'm not judging you. You can try as much you want, but you don't want really. Yeah. And I'm uh, 60 years already, you know. But when I got this freedom, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to, to run in the streets and shout, guys, why are you struggling if you can't get every one of you freedom? But uh, most of people, of course, look at you like fanatic, you know. Sure. And particularly when you mention one name, through Jesus Christ, people just something, no one name makes so much provoking. Yeah. No Muhammad, no Buddha, no Krishna, no one name in the universe so provoking across so much. Oh, no. By the way, my girlfriend was, was with me, she received the same, she used to pray with me, oh. and she got free as well, but she still wanted to, and she was in the drugs maybe three years more, longer. But if you once did it, you will never get away from God. He will never leave you because he's promised, I will never leave you forsake you. Never. So once you call Jesus name, he, even you can go to mental hospital, you can go in drugs, in drugs, in alcohol, and again lost your mind, but you will never will miss God. God will be with you anyway, what you wouldn't do. Tell us about coming to Ireland, bro. What made you decide to come to Ireland? Oh, I, uh, I, wonder, I didn't, uh, well, my, uh, uh, I wanted to go to West, somewhere far away from this communistic system, far away from Russia, from all the Lithuania, all that, all that, uh, far away. Uh, and a friend of mine used to live here, and he said, do you want to integrate to, to another uh, uh, Western culture? Wow, it sounds to integrate. It's exactly by my character. Like I'm gypsy, I'm integrated in that. I came here. <laughs> Suddenly you come and you just you to integrate you have respect. Yeah. Yes, you know, of course. Yeah, to adopt another culture. I came here, I went to Celtus. I came went to, to uh, you know to learn Irish music and I heard it was challenging for me how they connect jigs reels mm -hmm. and uh, Irish music for me is so rich. I had yes. in Jewish, Arabic, and Caucasian, and Asian, and uh, different and classical. I had classical education. And, and you bus uh, here? Yeah, I love busking. Tell us about that. Uh, how do you, and, and you really love Ireland? I love Ireland. Tell us it's about my Ireland. home, man. I feel, I never felt rejection. First, people, very friendly. Yeah, and I even, and I perfectly understand that you can hear my, my, my English, you know, not properly, you know, with okay. mistakes. <laughs> With open, if you respect, with open hands, they just come, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I feel, I'm completely, I'm Irish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love Ireland, I love Ireland, I only pray, God, that people would wake up, I really, I'm already s s saved. I already felt security, you know, I feel, uh, you know, safe, and, uh, and because any moment I die, I go to hell. And all like, this, you uh, share the joy that you have through your music. Uh, it's great opportunity. Yes, it's uh, wonderful, and uh, I'm going to leave the viewers with a, with a video, uh, some, uh, <laughs> some video of you uh, playing some music uh, so they get a sense of what you're about and I would say to anybody who sees Yuri around town to support him because that's what he does for his living he plays his <laughs>
Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul.